continuing our theme of fun and interesting Snell's Law problems, I'm asking you to find the distance from this edge of the pool to where a beam of light hits the bottom of a pool when the incident light is coming in, hits the water, bends down, and hits at this point. So how far is it from here to here? Okay. Well, it's 2.7 meters to where it hits here. My drawing is a little bit funky, I realize. All right, and uh, but so it's going to be 2.7 meters plus this extra distance. Looks to me like the big picture then is that if we can just figure out this angle, use basic trig and get this additional distance added to 2.7, and we have our answer. All right, let's do it. Sounds like fun. What a fun opportunity. So I will reconstruct what I need to hear. So here's the edge of the pool. That's the pool. And the water is at a certain height. I'll draw kind of a semi-squiggly line there. And we have 2.7 meters to where the beam of light hits. And it's hitting right here, so we have a normal. This is 2.1 meters. In other words, the water is 2.1 meters deep. So that's going to be useful. And here comes the beam of light, and the beam of light is such that is such that this is 1.3 meters from here to here, 1.3 meters, 2.7 meters, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do, well, we have our incident angle, and we have our, so we're just going to bend toward the, toward the normal because n is 1.33 for water n is equal to 1 for air. So it's going to bend toward the normal and hit here somewhere. All right. If we extend this all the way down, I want to reiterate, this is 2.7 meters to here, so as far as what our answer is. Then added to that, we need this distance x across here. So if we can figure out the refracted angle. We figure out the refracted angle and then consider that the total distance D is equal to 2.7 plus X. We just need to solve for X and we know that, I'll write it up here I guess, tangent of theta R is equal to opposite x over adjacent 2.1. Therefore, x is equal to 2.1. Ah, all right, you got the idea. 2.1 tangent of theta r. There it is. 2.1 tangent of theta r. So this is equal to 2.7 plus 2.1 tangent of the refracted angle. That's our answer. Ooh, I kind of like doing that because this problem is perhaps a little confusing. We've sorted through the high level issue here. The big picture of what we have to do has just been sorted through and it comes down to this. Find out this distance x which is just 2.1 2.1 times the tangent of the angle. So our job is to find theta r and of course we'll do that by getting the incident angle using Snell's law and getting the rest of it. So, let's see, we have this, let me do one more piece of geometry here. The incident angle, we have this, if you can visualize this right triangle here. Okay, then we have that the tangent of theta incident, the tangent of the incident angle is equal to opposite over adjacent. The opposite side is 2.7 meters. The adjacent side is 1.3, right? And that's, 
I don't know what it is. Let's see. 2.7 divided by 1.3 is 2.25. That's 2.25. So theta incident is equal to 66 degrees. Woohoo! I did everything right there. That's equal to 66 degrees. Okay, the incident angle. That's really useful, isn't it? Of course it is. So we found the incident angle not from Snell's law, but from the geometry. Okay, now our final task is to go ahead and use Snell's law to solve the problem. So, N, try it N incident, sine of theta incident is N refracted sine of theta refracted and we are looking for the refracted angle so sine of the refracted angle is equal to an incident over n refracted sine of theta incident theta refracted is equal to the inverse sine of ni and the incident is 1 the refracted is 1.33 sine of 66 degrees, the incident angle. This is whoop, 66 degrees. Okay. And so, there we go. Now I'll plug that in. I haven't done that yet, so let me go ahead and let's see, sine of quantity. 1 divided by 1.33 times sine of 66 quantity gives us, whoops, that was a sine, second sine to negative 1 of the answer. Okay, something messed up there. Let me do it once more real quick. 1 divided, ah, now I'm wasting your time. Inverse sine of quantity, 1 divided by 1.33 times sine of 66 quantity. There we go. This gives me 43.4 degrees. That's an intermediate value because now what we that's the refracted angle. I'm going to stick that back in here and we get 2.7 plus 2.1 tangent of 43.4 degrees, which is 2.7 plus 2.1 tangent of previous answer. I get 1.98. Hmm. 1.98 is equal to 4.68 meters. Okay, it's a little bit different than the answer I had. I don't know if it was a rounding issue or what, but nevertheless, if I didn't make any boo-boos, that should be a correct analysis of this problem, which was mostly figuring out the geometry and sorting all that out. Because you know what? Just a direct application of Snell's Law is a little bit beneath your analytical problem-solving dignity at this point. So, hope you enjoyed that.